Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we looked at installing Home Assistant on Raspberry Pi, and we also took a quick tour of the Home Assistant interface, or Lovelace. And I also briefly showed you how to use supervisor add-ons within Home Assistant. I was in the middle of shooting another video that involved supervisor add-ons, and I realized that a large chunk of you would probably be left out or confused, because supervisor add-ons are only available through the Raspberry Pi installation or a virtual machine installation. So today I'll show you how to install Home Assistant on Linux with Supervisor, which will give you access to add-ons and all the other benefits. This is an unofficial method, however I've personally been using this method for close to a year now with no issues. This is also going to serve as my Docker installation video. I think this is the better way to do it than the official Docker installation. So why might you want to do this instead of the official or supported installation methods? Well, the benefits are pretty obvious with no apparent drawbacks. You get instant access to all the official and community add-ons which provide one-click installations. You also have the ability to do snapshots, which is incredibly useful in a pinch. The process of updating Home Assistant itself is also much easier compared to the alternative. We will be using Ubuntu 20.04 for this, however it should work on Debian, Mint or any other Debian based distro. As far as I can tell, unfortunately it won't work on any Red Hat based systems because of Home Assistant's dependency on App Armor, which tends to be found in Debian or Ubuntu based systems. I'm using the desktop version of Ubuntu for this demo, however the exact same steps apply for the server version and I would encourage you to use the server version if you're comfortable with it. With that said, let's get started. As mentioned, I'm using Ubuntu 20.04 for this, however, previous versions should work with no issues. This is a completely clean and fresh install, I haven't touched anything. We need to firstly install Docker, which is not installed on Ubuntu by default. Then we need to install a few other dependencies and finally grab the Home Assistant install script. Start by opening a terminal and we need to install a few packages in order to add the Docker repository to our installation. Docker is in the official Ubuntu repository, but it's a couple of versions out of date, so I prefer to just add the Docker repository and grab the latest version from there. Use the following command to install the packages needed to add the Docker repository. Once completed, we can then add the Docker repo key by using the curl and apt add command. Then add the docker repo by using the apt add repository command. Finally, we can install the docker packages like so. This can take several minutes because of the download size, so just sit tight for that to complete. Once docker is installed, there is a final package that we need to install for Home Assistant. This is the jq package. Use sudo apt install jq to install the jq package. Now it's time to execute the install script for Home Assistant. Use the curl command to grab the latest version from GitHub. This could again take a few minutes to complete. Once the script exits, we'll want to check the status of the Docker containers. Use the docker container ls a to show all Docker containers. You will see here that as I am repeating the commands, more and more containers appear as they are being downloaded. You should have six containers showing by the end of the process. Once you have six, Home Assistant is now installed with Supervisor. Open a browser and use localhost if you're using the desktop version or the IP address of your machine if you're accessing from a different location, making sure to use port 8123. Home Assistant will then open up and from here the process is exactly the same as before. Go through and fill in your name, location, units of measurement, etc. until you get to the dashboard. You can see that the supervisor option is now available in the left hand menu. Clicking in there we have all the usual options like add-ons and snapshots. Moving over to the system tab, you will notice a message saying unsupported installation. This is just because we aren't using Home Assistant OS and it's nothing to worry about. Now you can use your Home Assistant installation as normal. You can start creating your integrations, scripts, automations and start creating your dashboards. Or perhaps you want to restore your configuration from another system. So that's it guys, hopefully you found this video useful and you learned a few things. This is technically an unofficial install, however I do think it's a great option for those of us who don't have Raspberry Pis available or maybe just prefer a vanilla Linux OS. Thank you again for all the support, be sure to let me know your video suggestions down below and I will do my best to make them. If you could also hit like and get subscribed that would help me out massively too. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.